all right what's going on guys welcome back to another two episodes of Q season four episode three oh i didn't mean for that to happen but it did episodes three and four of season four <laughs> high q i'm really enjoying the season so far two episodes in man and i really love what they're doing with kageyama getting invited kageyama is gonna come back a beast he's getting to practice with the best in the country he's gonna come back as a beast getting that kind of opportunity I mean, I'm surprised that Ushijima did not get invited, or maybe he's too old, and probably, he's probably gonna be too old, for real, now that I think about it, because he is a third year, so he's gonna be too old, he's had his opportunities already to play, play for the national team, he's played for the national team, so, he's already a, a, a beast, so he's gonna be too old to play for under 19, of course, because he's the third year, he's probably like, 17 or 18 years old so in two years he's gonna be 20 he can't compete for the under 19 so um so yeah be cool it will be cool it's really cool to see that they're going in this direction you know what i would like to see after nationals like they bring it back with a movie for freaking international competition that would be really dope for them to go up against other countries they could like emulate you know real life players or something of the sort and put them in and put them in a movie and do a car um not a car a movie but a high q movie about like the, the the volleyball olympics or just the international volleyball competition that they could do you know what i'm saying that would be pretty dope i would watch that shit i'm pretty sure i would watch that but in any case man we're gonna jump in of course episode three and four and I will catch you guys later. Don't forget, guys, don't forget. I'm, I'm trying not to forget to tell you guys this. If you watch my intros, let you guys know. That by now on the channel, membership should be live. So all you got to do is either go into the description and hit the join button. Guys, the lowest price in there, it doesn't matter. Everything helps, okay? Everything helps all these reactions that you see that you see coming out a lot of shows i'm gonna be putting out on the channel that i'm reacting to right now in my in the time that i have and stuff like that i told you guys that this is something that i was considering going full time in the content creating you know whether it be just youtube videos and stuff like that i gave up plenty for this to be able to give you guys more content on the channel on a consistent basis everything that we do on the channel from now going forward is going to be um like what do you call it um the way how i plan to do things on the channel now is whenever we start a series on the channel you're gonna get it daily no matter what it is once you see it come on you're gonna get it five days a week until we caught up okay so once everything comes back on the channel you notice for for high you should have noticed by now by high because you should be watching should have watched or finished watching season three by the time season four comes out so you see that you were getting two episodes every day every day every day and this is going to go for every single anime i do on the channel and that's the reason why um once it starts you're not gonna see see it ease up but well other than the weekends, Monday through Friday, you're going to get reactions. So well, whatever it is, whatever is running on the channel is going to be every day. Boom, 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 boom. Five days a week. And and I'm going I'm pretty much going to be the only person in the history of YouTube reacting that is going to be doing this. OK, I'm doing something unprecedented, something that I don't see any other reactions do, which is to give the audience multiple episodes every day you get what i'm saying until they caught up they always take breaks and shit i'm not about that break shit no more well other than the weekends okay so i'm um, plus on the weekends it's not like there's not going to be anything on the channel i'm just reserving the weekends for things like movies other videos music all that other stuff manga readings and stuff like that so that's what's going to come out on the weekends but for the main shows on the channel that's what i'm planning to do okay so i just wanted you guys to know that um if you sign up for the second tier of membership you get early access on the channel okay so you get everything a week early and then it goes out to everyone the week after that so um so yeah 
and if you want you can sign up for the third tier nobody is being forced to do anything i'm just asking you guys kindly if you want to support the channel please do so by joining the membership on the channel you don't have to go to patreon or or nothing like that unless you want to see manga readings early because that's where manga readings early access is okay so that's what we do okay so thank you guys so much appreciate y'all and i'll see you guys for the review all right so that was episodes three and four season four of IQ. my god that was nothing short of brilliant is all i have to say nothing short of brilliance man when it comes on to hinata's character the way how he's growing exactly what i was talking about um after um episodes one and two where i was talking about there's a wealth of knowledge for him to grasp by watching you get what i'm saying because he's a competitor he plays the sport he's not an actual ball boy you actually play the sport anytime you are playing on a bench or you know what i'm saying you're taking you're you're watching somebody from the stands and you play the same sport you are doing that for learning purposes so i'm glad that he found his purpose is what i hope that would be the purpose and that's what it is for him to learn all of this stuff by watching these great players these players that are um players that are top at their schools or whatever um some of the top players you know what i mean so to get that opportunity to witness them without being in a match you can see what they do to get to to be the best you can watch their actions you can see what they do differently from other people you get what i'm saying to be so good you know what i'm saying it could be generic it could be something as subtle as you know what i'm saying as the what they call it the i don't even remember what they what they call it something another step um so it's to me when you highlight stuff like that in anime and you do stuff like that you are in the sports world i don't know if the author of this manga i don't know if they've played volleyball maybe you guys can tell me that in the comment section because they probably did play volleyball or something um it, it could have been something that they played back in high school you know what i'm saying had a passion for it decided to write a manga about it or draw a manga about it so you know what i'm saying so um it's just like how the guy that writes ippo actually loves boxing actually box owns a boxing gym all of this good stuff so um i wouldn't be surprised if the writer for this manga played volleyball earlier in his life you know what i'm saying or even played competitively you know for his country maybe i don't know you never know you never know you know what i mean um i didn't I haven't done any research because i don't want to want to be spoiled about anything um but when it comes on to this anime man it really does goes to show you how inspirational that it can be what they go through the 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 areas that they touch on you know what i'm saying the areas that they touch on for you know for you to draw parallels from in real life you know what i mean um what he's doing the, the type of person that hinata is you do not find a lot of people who is like this and i'll tell you why you don't find a lot of people who's like him because he's always willing to help you know what i'm saying he turned a negative into a positive most people are not like that you get what i'm saying and in every aspect of his life everything that he wants to do is just negative 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 he's at a disadvantage in everything that he wants to do even it, it even boils over into his conversations with people you get what i'm saying like it even boils out and goes over into his conversations whereas in the guy said something really negative you know what i'm saying and he turned it into a positive and helped him out you know what i mean because sometimes you're so tired tired being tired is like you know what i'm saying it can get to the point where you're inebriated you get what i'm saying um if you have ever stayed up for more than 24 hours like for like 
maybe like 48 hours i've stayed up for 72 hours straight before maybe even more than that and when i tell you it's you become delirious you become delirious you know what i'm saying it's not a good thing to not sleep for a very long time you know what i mean so the way how i the way how i look at it is um being tired is the same way you know what i'm saying it can cause you to say things you don't mean you know what i'm saying i know he didn't mean to say what he said out loud but he did and he not to realizing that and realizing that he was getting tired on the court helped him out you know what i'm saying he didn't take it as offense what he said he just saw what it for what it is and helped the guy out because he was obviously tired because you know dude kinemi kimini kinemi right kumini is it kumini 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 <laughs> that guy he was passing the ball way up in the air for the first pass so you get time to relax and see the game and devise an attack in two on two you can do that you get what i'm saying um you should try to do that because it gives you time it gives both people time to set up you get what i'm saying so the higher you put the ball on the first dig you know what i'm saying um basically it allows the setter the person who's going to set the ball because in two on two either can set so it allows the person who's going to set the ball for the spike to have time to formulate see where the ball is going and set the ball where he wants it to go so pretty cool stuff glad that they touched on that anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in enjoy these two episodes hopefully you guys are enjoying season four as much as i am i'm loving this i'm loving this i love a good training montage in any anime i'm watching so i love it anyways thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all don't forget to like the video don't forget to comment on the video and also it's your boy terabyte reacts i will see you guys tomorrow peace